Bradley Fighting Vehicle, or BFV, has been vital to military operations since its introduction in the 1980s. Its primary purpose is to transport infantry or scouts safely under armor protection. But that's not all it does. The BFV is also equipped with powerful weaponry that provides covering fire to suppress enemy troops and armored vehicles. The BFV was designed by FMC Corporation and made its debut in 1981. Its key features are the spaced laminate armor, which protects against various threats. It boasts 14.5 to 30 millimeters all-around armor-piercing protection and even has explosive reactive armor specifically designed to counter rocket-propelled grenades. The BFV is armed with a 25 millimeter M242 Bushmaster chain gun, which can accurately engage both ground and aerial targets. Additionally, it is equipped with two BGM-71 Tau anti-tank missiles, effectively destroying armored vehicles at a safe distance. It also has a 7.62 mm M240C machine gun, further enhancing its offensive capabilities. Powering this impressive machine is a Cummins VTA903T diesel engine capable of delivering 600 horsepower. This engine provides the necessary power and agility for the BFV to maneuver through various terrains. With a top speed of 35 miles per hour, it can swiftly navigate the battlefield, ensuring the safety of its occupants. The BFV's range is also worthy of praise. With a maximum operating range of 250 miles, the vehicle can cover lengthy distances without frequent refueling or maintenance stops. This makes it a reliable asset during long-duration missions or extended combat operations. And now the U.S. Army plans to replace the Bradley Fighting Vehicle. The U.S. Army has significantly progressed in replacing the aging Bradley Fighting Vehicle. The competition, formerly known as the Optionally Manned Fighting Vehicle, has now reached its final stage with the announcement of the finalists. The new vehicle will be called the XM-30 Mechanized Infantry Combat Vehicle and will be the Army's first hybrid electric, engine-powered combat vehicle. General Dynamics Land Systems and American Rheinmetall have been selected for the detailed design phase. These two companies will receive contracts totaling $1.6 billion to further develop their designs and produce up to 11 prototypes for testing by the first quarter of 2025. The winning design will be selected in 2027 and the vehicle will be deployed by 2029. While the estimated program cost is $45 billion, the exact number of vehicles to be procured has yet to be finalized. American Rheinmetall Vehicles is proud to introduce its new combat vehicle, the Lynx XM30. This state-of-the-art vehicle results from the collaboration between industry leaders, including Textron Systems, RTX, L3 Harris Technologies, Allison Transmission, and Andural Industries as part of Team Lynx. Designed specifically for the U.S. Army's XM30 combat vehicle program, the Lynx XM30 is set to revolutionize the modern battlefield. The Lynx XM30 offers concrete solutions to the most pressing requirements of the Army's next-gen combat vehicle program. Its unmanned 50mm turret provides superior accuracy and firepower without exposing the crew to unnecessary risks. This cutting-edge technology allows for increased situational awareness and the ability to precisely engage targets. Additionally, the Lynx XM30 introduces a two-soldier crew concept, which focuses on reducing the crew size and increasing the vehicle's overall efficiency. With a smaller crew, the vehicle can be more agile and responsive on the battlefield, ultimately enhancing its survivability and mission effectiveness. Furthermore, the Lynx XM30 boasts a highly mobile and powerful chassis that ensures rapid deployment and maneuverability in any terrain. Its advanced suspension and drivetrain systems allow for exceptional off-road performance, enabling the vehicle to easily navigate rough and challenging environments. The Lynx XM30 features integrated vehicle protection systems to protect the crew and critical components. These systems include advanced armor and active protection measures that provide enhanced defense against various threats, such as ballistic projectiles, improvised explosive devices, and rocket-propelled grenades.
Regarding modularity, the Lynx XM30 open systems architecture allows for easy integration of future technologies, ensuring that it remains adaptable and capable of evolving alongside emerging threats. Griffin 3 was first unveiled at the Association of the United States Army's 2018 Exposition in Huntsville, Alabama. It was offered under the Army's XM-30 Mechanized Infantry Combat Vehicle Program. The Griffin 3 utilizes a variant of the Stryker chassis, providing improved mobility and survivability compared to the previous versions. It features advanced armor protection, including composite armor and modular add-on armor kits that can be customized based on the mission requirements. The Griffin 3's main armament is the 50mm XM-913 gun system, which offers increased firepower and versatility. It is capable of engaging both armored and soft targets with high precision. Additionally, the vehicle has a remote weapon station that can be operated from inside, providing improved situational awareness and protection for the crew. The Griffin 3 is also equipped with the Iron Fist Active Protection System, which provides protection against various anti-armor threats, such as rocket-propelled grenades and anti-tank guided missiles. The APS uses sensors and countermeasures to detect and neutralize incoming threats, greatly enhancing the vehicle's and crew's survivability. Another notable feature of the Griffin 3 is the switchblade loitering munition system. This system allows the vehicle to engage targets beyond the line of sight, providing increased standoff capabilities and reducing the risk to the vehicle and its crew. The General Dynamics Griffin 3 is a highly advanced armored combat vehicle that offers the United States Army superior mobility, protection, and firepower. Its advanced features allow it to effectively operate in various combat scenarios, increasing soldiers' capability and survivability on the battlefield.